Hey guys, it's Landon Smith with Remax Professionals. I'm here to give you your October monthly market update for the Denver metro area. Um, we've had some great things happen over this last month. Our inventory has gone from 6,000 homes, single family, to 5,700. So we lost 300 homes in the market. That means buyers are waking up after their fall and late summer slumber. Um, so that's a good sign uh, if you're looking to sell a home. If you're looking to buy a home, we're still 800 homes up from where we were last year, which was about 4,900 homes on the market available for sale. Uh, and we're talking about single family detached homes. Condos and townhomes attached have gone up about 800 homes. Um, so that number has fluctuated upward. There's more options out there in the market for buyers that are looking for condos and townhomes. Those have gone up 12% year over year. So incredible investment right now on attached units and mainly because that's where incomes are. A lot of people can afford those right now. Um, whereas single families gone up 6% year over year. Uh, last month I told you that was 7.8%. So this year over year it's gone down slightly. That's the lowest number that I've seen for five years in doing this. And so interesting that the market's cooling off just a little bit, especially on the higher end. Average home in Denver is $496,000 right now. Average condo or townhome attached unit, $347,000. So those are the benchmarks. You know, my advice to buyers is if you're looking to buy a home, now is going to be much better than it will be next year. Um, right now, you know, interest rates haven't increased more. Um, they're scheduled. The feds have, have threatened to increase rates two more times once in, in about a month and then again before the year turns. So money's cheaper right now than, than it will be um, you know, in a few months, I think. Rates are right around 5% currently. So that's, that's good for you. Um, and we've got more inventory than, than we've had you know, in the past. So more options to look at, less competition. Um, come turn of the year, that's gonna change. Our, our, our spring market has been very strong. Looking at numbers last year, the strongest month to close on a home, as far as price goes, to get your max price out of the year was April. So it's, it's shifting upward. It used to be May, June was the best months to sell. Now it's February, March, closing in April. Those were the, the people that got the best money out of their homes last year. So as a buyer, you wanna to try to avoid being in that frenzy as much as we can. Um, as a seller, that's your storm. That's when you wanna be on the market. So want to give you those tips and really help you analyze these numbers. I know that you can go out and find numbers online, but the key is as your real estate professional, I want to help you analyze these numbers and understand how it can work for you or your friends. So if you do have anyone that's considering buying or selling a home, please have them call me. Uh, my number's here and I'd love to take care of them and, and, and give them a professional experience that, that they won't get um, elsewhere just looking around online. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll catch you next month.